So, John, I wanted to ask you about the fact that you're saving up yet again for Apple desktop machines. Um, yes, I am. And the reason why I do save up and pay the ridiculous amount for the uh, Apple logo is not because I like Apple, Apple um, especially. In fact, they irritate the life out of me. Uh, but if it wasn't for them... Well, it's the only it's the only computer on the market that you pay more money for, but you get everything built in. So right out of the box, I can actually I can actually set up my own Apple X. Whereas whereas if I if I went to, if I went back to Microsoft Windows, um, I would have to pay uh, I would have to pay maybe five hundred pounds for the or four hundred pounds for the for a desktop machine, whereas, um, and then pay another £800 on, on top for screen reading software, and... Um, you think it's as much as that? Yes, yes. I, in fact, I don't think it's as much as that at all. I know it's as much okay, as that. OK, OK. Because, right. because the, lead, the, the, lead industry, the, the, industry, the industry standard screen reader software, screen reading software for Windows, is is actually in fact jaws uh from from freedom scientific um there are f- f- um there are there are um some free screen readers available but all i'm saying is why 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 would you want to go out and pay 400 pounds or 500 pounds for a microsoft windows um desktop where and then you would have to Quite frankly, go out and get, go out and save up another eight hundred pounds for, for a screen, for a, for a stable screen reader, which, um, which is quite often the case. I mean, they 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 charge, they they do charge a heck of a lot of money for it. Um, so I, so that's why I pay ridiculous amounts of money for for Apple. Okay, so the, the the Google sort of approach, the Chrome, the or Android, Asteroid or Android, the Android, whatever it is, those those approaches, like a Chromebook, would be even cheaper, well, wouldn't it? But yes, is it the, would is be. The, it would be. Is and the voice is, recognition any good on that? Well, I well I don't well I don't know if there is any voice recognition on a Chromebook. I I haven't used one, um, but I know. But a lot of people get confused between screen readers and voice recognition. I've noticed that. Well, I'm confused. Well, a screen reader is something that will read out to you what's on the screen. It's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, no, well, just explain it to me, too, because, because, uh... You see, it seems to me like like they're all trying to have a voice interface device sitting in the kitchen or the car and so forth. So how is that different to what you need for accessibility? Well, a screen reader will will read read out to you what's on the screen. That's the difference. And voice recognition will turn speech into text. That's the difference. So the voice recognition is sort of your input to the machine? Yeah, it will turn my speech into text. Or, or in serious case, do stuff um, and load up Windows. Um, you have to remember, I first started using voice recognition software when Dragon actually speaking. Um, I first started using voice recognition when Dragon Eight came out and Dragon Nine Point Five. Um, but that was back in 2008, so nearly 10 years ago now. Um, whereas voice recognition is much more mainstream now. Um, where, whereas it wasn't a few years ago, right? And I think that's why. Right. But 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 John, you've got to keep it all under review. I mean, you you've decided that Apple have got it all sussed out. Yes, and, they, and represents good value. Yes, they have. That's but, but it's worth looking at what other people are doing as well. Yes, it is worth looking at what other people are doing. But if if Android isn't gonna if 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 if, if Android isn't gonna compete with Apple, then I can't see. Then I can't see much hope for, for for blind people using Apple, for blind people using um, Android. Okay. Well, I'll just mention that Deep, Google DeepMind are going to be part of, of the TEDx salon, part of the Lost Weekend, and I think they, uh, their scope is just the AI or machine learning part of it. They're, they're going to be talking about lifelong learning, but I'm going off topic. If they if they get into or somebody from Google gets into voice as well, either as input or output. Or somebody else wants to talk about it. Um, Tech Exeter are going to be meeting. It's not part of the last weekend, but Thursday night, I think. I think it's Thursday night or Friday night. They're in. They're in. The, they're in the Phoenix uh, building anyway. 
what I'm, what I'm saying is all these topics sort of relate to each other and somebody during the next week or so might have a view on it but it seems to me uh, nothing, nothing against Apple other other software and hardware is available but to simply say you've got to be spending 1500 quid on a desktop um, you find I'm not sure. Outrageous. I, well, um, oh, no, we don't use words like outrageous, John. Well, I just we're not shock jocks. We're just calm, reasonable people trying to work out what's possible. Fifteen hundred pounds is a hell of a lot of money. Well, it's quite a lot of money, isn't it? Yes. But they are very nice people in the Apple shop. Has to be said that as well. Yes. But, but they're not—they're not allowed to say anything on camera or, or, or air, though. I've but had I'm an, sure Apple I've, have got a way of commenting. I've had an argument with a few people in there. You haven't, John. Yes, had I had an have. argument with him. Yes, yes, I did. Because what one 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 one. I may have to phase you out now, depending on how you phrase this. So just, just be careful. One guy was complaining. Well, I complained that 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 you weren't allowed to put a copy of um, Mac OS onto your. Uh, onto a pen drive and make a bootable pen drive. And he was saying, you're not allowed to do that, sir. We don't support that. And I, I simply said to him, well, I don't really care. Um, oh. I'm going to do it anyway. And um, and I would like to know why you don't support this. And he said, oh, I'm not allowed to say. And I said, well, how silly. <laughs> um, and that's what I said. Um, well, all right, all right, right. Look, I'm not, I think we'll, do, we'll, do, we'll just stop there, John, because uh, it, do, it does seem to me quite weird The the... the we have got an Apple shop in, in Exeter. Other stores are available. and um, But they're not allowed to say anything. No. But if, if Apple officially uh, has anything to say, our Twitter feed is W-E-N-O-T-N-O, and um, that would be, that'll be all right. Yeah. We, can, we can cope with that. Anyway, have you got another, another track to play? Yes, I have. It's Walks Like Rihanna by The Wanted. 